Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to compile a SAF Blade Store application in Ubuntu using the .NET runtime then we're going to publish it as a single file, single executable file and then we're going to monitor it as a service for that we will use the article that I wrote as a guide and also we can uh, check also the information that the official information from Microsoft for that we will use this article that I wrote a few weeks ago and the official information from Microsoft. So this is the application that we're going to deploy today. Basically this is a SAF Blazor application that is empty only with a one domain uh, object. And I have this application here, I downloaded it from GitHub. So I have it here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the server folder. Here I'm going to open a terminal and in the terminal I'm going to execute one command I'm going to execute this command basically the idea is that this command will publish the application on release it will be compiled for Linux 64 bits it will be published as a single file and it will be self-contained it will don't require I mean it will not require the the .NET runtime so let me copy this line and paste it in the console So this will compile the application basically for Linux. Okay, it's done. So now we need to go to this folder. So I'm going to copy the path and I'm going to go to the file explorer and here I will paste that uh, path. Okay, so this is the executable that we need to run. For that, I'm going to go back to the console I'm going to change directory to that directory and I'm going to clear the console and to run it you just press dot forward slash and the name of the application that's SAF Blazor. So you will see in the console that the application is running. Here you see the that is running for HTTP on port 5000 and for HTTPS in 5001. So let me go to the port 5000. And here we have the application running. So let me log in. And as you can see, it's a really simple application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, I mean, I'm going to stop that process from the console and you will see that the application will stop. So uh, now that I terminate the process, the application stops. So let's try to run it as a service so if we go back here to the tutorial basically the idea is that you go to a folder that is etc systemd system and then you create a service file the content of the service file should be something like this so i already prepared that and i have it here on the desktop So the idea is that you should name the service file the same as you name your application. So in this case it's SAF Blaze or Docker um, dot server dot service. If I open this file, then we need the description. I put this is a SAF application. The service we need the working directory, that's the directory that where the application lives. Then the exit start is basically the full path to the executable then you need to set the restart as always so the application will be restarted if it crashes or if the os restart the application will restart also then how much time you need to wait before you restart the application so after the application finishes uh, it will take 10 seconds for the os to restart the the, the service then the identifier that the application should have in the system log so you can write whatever you want but it should be unique um, i think there is no error if it's not unique but you will mix up the logs then the environment is production in this case and the user in 
to make it simple we're going to run it on the root but in in a real life scenario usually they will create a user for you and for your application to be isolated but to make it simple it will be running on the root so now that we have this file we need to create the service file to do that the easiest way is to do it in console actually it's a little bit more difficult to do it in with the ui so to do it in the console let's go to the article and let's see here in the article we have the line that we need to run so basically it's this we're going to do sudo nano etc i mean is the full part of the file um, because it needs to be run with elevated permissions so basically it's the same concept as running as administrator on windows so here we have the command i just need to change the file name so this command will create or edit the file if exists in this case the file doesn't exist so it will be created so this is the name of the file so let's run this on the console let me clear this first run this on the console password and now we have the empty file what we need to do is paste this content and paste and then to save it we need to paste ctrl x as it says here to exit and then yes to write okay uh, so let's see if it exists now um, let's go and check it so here we go to the root folder etc then here we look for system D system D system and um, yeah here here we have the file and see we have the content and it's good so let's close this and now that we created the file we need to do something we need to enable the service so to enable the service we need to run this command which is system I mean you do sudo system c ctl enable and then the name of the service so first we need to enable it so right now it's enabled now we need to start it it's basically the same command just change the enable command to start so now it's started and now we need to check the status if there is an error we will see when we check the status if it's running we will see the list of addresses that is using so this is the output as you can see it's running in this url so let's click here and we will see that the application is running then also I should be able to close the window and the application should not finish like it did before so okay the application is still loading and let me close the console and it should just work okay the application stays still is still running now I'm going to reboot the OS and after I reboot the OS and I go to the browser I should be able to just go to the URL and the application should be running without me doing anything it will start when the OS start so for that let's do reboot now and we don't have permissions so we need to have to run it with elevated permissions and this is going to take like a few seconds to restart the machine and after that i'm going to log in and i will show you that the application should be running even um, even when the os restarted and i should have i mean i don't have to do anything to make it start so let's wait a little bit 
Okay, the virtual machine just started, so let's try to log in. And what I'm going to do is, well, first I'm going to start the, the browser and show you that the application is running. And then I'm going to go to the console again and check the status so you can see that the application is still there. And it will show that it's running on, on like it will show you the URL. So, so let's do local host. 5000 and see the application is running we didn't do anything uh, let's go to the console so for that I will run the status command and as you can see the application is running if there was like an error you will see like red lines here and it will show you what is happening and also if you do the status you will see the application output whatever is happening in the console you will see it there so this can grow a little bit sometimes but well that's everything for this video if you have any doubts about how you deploy your SAF application to Linux just, just let us know you can write a comment in the comment section of this video and we will have our contact information at the beginning of the video so see you guys on the next video